Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna be going to five different coffee shops that are super trendy right now. I just wanted to see for myself if it was worth going or not. Because you know, when you see things on social media, it just kind of looks better online and you get a little FOMO, or at least I do. So I wanted to give you guys the real deal. See if it's worth going. The first place that I'm gonna go to is in Santa Monica, and then we're gonna make our way towards the east side because there are a ton of coffee shops over there that are super trendy right now. The first place is going to be La La Land. La La Land is known for being the kind cafe. Every single time I've been there, the employees are so sweet and honestly just radiate really, really good positive energy. They are best known for their matcha. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to be getting lattes with almond milk, iced, very important part, just to keep it consistent for my rating process. But it has blown up recently and they actually just opened up another coffee shop in West Hollywood. All right, so let's drive over and try our first iced latte. Okay, one thing that I already noticed just by passing by it when I was parking is that I do feel like going to these trendy coffee shops will require me waiting in very long lines because the line right now for La Land is already out the door. And I feel like that's gonna be the case for all of the places that I go today. So if you do go to any of these coffee shops, just be prepared, you might have to wait in long lines. <laughs> Okay, just acquired the first coffee. Here is the coffee. I love their motto. I think that already makes them stand out and I think it's really sweet. How could you not like a company or coffee shop that preaches kindness? So I do love that. I realized the line was so long because they were having a collaboration with a place called Daily Drills. Okay, Daily Drills is an LA-based lifestyle brand that changes the way you look at your closet. The energy there was great because everyone's just having a good time and drinking their coffee. For me, going in there by myself, just trying to get a little iced latte, the wait was about 30 minutes. As soon as I ordered, I barely sat down and my coffee was already made. So it really wasn't that bad of a wait after you ordered. Let's take off the little sleeve. I'm not really a big fan of their cups because it makes me feel like I'm drinking out of a sippy cup. Now I'm gonna try the latte. Actually, I do like that. It's strong, but their almond milk is pretty nutty, which I personally really enjoy. And I primarily only drink almond milk. I am not a big fan of oat milk. I just feel really full and very heavy after I drink oat milk, so I try to stick to almond milk. Okay, I need to make sure I don't drink all of this because I have four more coffee shops to go to. And knowing me, I will probably drink all of it right now. I think I would rate it a seven out of 10 because it's not the best coffee in the world. It's a cute location, so the overall experience, I would say, is about a seven out of 10. If you were to get something there, I'd probably stick with their matcha since that's kind of what they're known for, not so much their actual coffee. I'm on my way to my second destination and I'm heading over to Beverly Hills because there are a few coffee shops that I am planning on going to. Not super shocking, but there are a few trendy coffee shops in Beverly Hills, you know, by the Rodeo Drive and all of the touristy areas. So I wanted to stop by there. One of the coffee shops that I was actually planning on going to in Silver Lake, which is on the east side, they have another location in Beverly Hills. Here I am again refusing to pay for parking, so I parked really far away. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but I really don't like paying for parking. I don't know what vendetta I have against it. I just think it's kind of silly. I always park further than I need to, so I am walking to the nice coffee shop right now. Okay, quick rating, sorry if it's kind of loud, but 
I would say Mario Coffee, the one in Beverly Hills at least, minus some points because I had a wait in the sun and it was scorching. I feel like I'm getting a little sunburnt already. I got the vanilla bean flat white and they didn't have a traditional latte. I think this is considered their latte and honestly vanilla bean just sounded good so that's what I got. That is actually unreal. That's one of the best things I've ever tasted. You know what? I actually thought this was gonna be more overhyped. The vanilla bean adds some sweetness, but it's not overpowering at all. The actual coffee is so delicious. I think it's always a good sign when the coffee shops serve their own coffee beans that they roast themselves. The craziest thing kind of just happened to me. I was filming the last clip and this person comes up to me and says good morning and I say good morning back. Being in the Bay Area, everybody says good morning and hello to each other. So I said good morning back and he came to talk to me and we ended up talking for like an hour all about business and markets and just different industries sectors but anyways so that just happened I'm going to get back to rating my drinks okay Alfred's is a coffee shop that everybody's obsessed with especially the one in Beverly Hills always has so many people okay so let's taste it it's a little milky for my liking, so I'll just compare it to Maru coffee. So Maru, you can see that it's a little espresso forward, and it's just a deeper brown color versus this, I feel like is very milky. After trying Maru coffee, this honestly isn't even comparable, but I would honestly give this a six out of 10. Maru coffee, I'm gonna give a nine, 9.5 maybe, because it's that good. I don't even know if I'm making any sense right now because I have so much caffeine in me. Also, I don't know why I didn't plan this accordingly, but I did have coffee right when I woke up. So now I've had coffee in the morning and then went straight to La La Land, Maru coffee, and Alfred coffee. So your girl is caffeinated. <laughs> So obviously I'm in a little bit of a different outfit. Yesterday, um, I could not handle all the caffeine and I felt like if I had one more sip of coffee, I was gonna combust. I also had a birthday party to get to last night, but my voice is a little bit gone because it's not really used to talking over music, which I know is pretty lame of me, but it's just the reality. So my voice feels a little bit hoarse. And I haven't had any coffee today because I learned from my mistakes yesterday. I was not gonna have any coffee going into this. Right now it's 7.16 a.m. I'm actually getting there seven minutes early. They open at 7.30. Because this is probably one of the most trending coffee shops at the moment in LA. I actually felt so bad because I was the third person in line, but their coffee machine broke. And so the wait ended up being 30 minutes, but that's nothing that they could have controlled. And they were so, so sweet about it. And all the people there were really nice. I got the Camel Coffee. That's the one that comes in these two cups. It's basically two shots of espresso. I chose almond milk and then cream on top. And I did feel silly saying that I want it with almond milk, but cream was okay. It's part of the drink, so I had to experience it. Ooh, that's beautiful. So pretty, but she told me not to mix it. She told me just to start sipping from the top. The top definitely looks pretty creamy. Oh, that tastes so good. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so good though. I could see why it's trending. It's sweet and it's not something that I could have every day. So the top is really sweet with the cream but it gets stronger down here, naturally, being that that's where the espresso is. I wish it was bigger. I know I'm not supposed to mix it, but. What I love so much about it is that even though the cream adds a sweetness, it's not overpowering. So I know earlier I said I wouldn't be able to have this every day, and I do stand by that statement, but it's not too overly sweet. It's a really nice balance. I'm excited I came here. I was kind of contemplating not coming over to the east side because it was gonna be a long drive, and I wasn't sure if this place would be worth the hype or worth, you know, me even reviewing it. But you guys, go to Camel Coffee. 
It's interesting that they tell you not to mix it because it definitely gets really strong by the end. I also didn't realize this, but they actually just opened in May and it's July right now. So they've only been open for two months. Okay, for my rating, this I think I would give an 8 out of 10. It's really good. It's very unique. The people there were amazing. It was a beautiful location. Everything about it was a pretty great experience. All right, now that I have way more energy than before, let's go to our final destination and our final trendy coffee shop. Wow, the sun is already shining today. It is so beautiful out. Look at that. Woo! Not least we have our Dayglow coffee. According to my research online, Dayglow was rated number two best coffee shop in America by Food and Wine magazine in 2019. Dayglow was interesting because it does look like a perfect place to meet up with a friend, get some coffee and chat and catch up. So that was kind of the vibe that I was getting from the actual coffee shop itself. Okay, let's shake it up. Let's do a little taste test. I don't know, it's not my favorite. It's not bad by any means. I think it's just because it tastes like a pretty regular iced latte with almond milk. I wouldn't say there's anything special to it. I mean, this feels like a very specialty coffee. If you do want an iced latte and you're either meeting up with some friends or you need something quick before you go run errands or something like that, I think Dayglo would be perfect. Okay, I think I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10, but if you do end up trying any of them, let me know. I'm so curious to hear your thoughts. Thank God I didn't do five coffees in one day because I'm already caffeinated. So love you guys, see you next week.